So, hello and welcome to Titanic's Toad's final video of the Heroes 3 of Might and Magic demonstration slash tutorial of the map editor. So, um, last video in map specifications, I believe I covered all the way up to here. Special victory condition. Here you can just set the special victory for condition for the map rather than defeating all your opponents and everyone. You can also so just accumulate creatures. If you make it like this, that means even if you defeat all your other regular opponents, you still have to get these creatures to win. So I could make this, and this goes on for accumulate resources too, number of quantity of resources of the type. And there's also a specific artifact. Upgrade a specific town to a specific level of hall or castle. Build the grail structure. Defeat a specific hero. Capture a specific town, which um, you can most of these you can also apply to computer opponents, or make it so you can't apply to them. Flag all creature dwellings, all mines, or transport a specific artifact from its location upon the map to a specific city. So. Special loss condition. Select a special loss condition. There's just a bunch of different ones here. None. Just regular. Lose a specific town. That makes it if you lose, say, this town, then you can't win anymore. Lose a specific hero. That's used in basically all of the Hero Chronicles. If you lose Tarnum, you lose. Um, I'm going to have this time expire actually for seven weeks. That is not what I meant to do for um, one week. Right, that's basically that, and now tools validate map. This will tell you any problems with the map you've got. For example, if I put this prison in a completely unreachable location. Um, there, just brush that. Tools validate map, the prison is unreachable. Tools validate map. I should just be using Shift V. There are no problems with the map. Yep. Now I just save this. It and then bring up the campaign editor. Right. The campaign editor is actually not anything like the map editor. If you want to make a campaign, you have to first make every individual map for it in here and use um placeholder heroes like so to carry over to the next scenario. So I wouldn't put them in this since this would be scenario one. So I want to start a new campaign. You can choose from all of these which are different um maps basically, seeds of discontent. This would be one Mosswood Forestdale. Each one is different. Different name. And now properties there. General, region name, Cloverfield, region color, red, scenario name, none, map file, now I can import from, oh gosh, I forgot about all this, maps, <laughs> somewhere in here I have my demo, I don't think this is the right thing. Alright, let's just load up different map then, since it's, it's going to take a while for me to deal with my own technical difficulties. Dead and buried. I can just go ahead and open up this as the first scenario. It's going to take a moment, because my computer is slow and old. Default difficulty, I can lock this at something. Well, let's say it's impossible prerequisites. That's going to be a little slow. Is it, or is this just, all right. Right, um, prerequisites, yeah. Moving on, the prologue, you can select from these different videos and different sound things, different musics. Tower Town. Then you can add the message, which scrolls down along the bottom. Epilogue is the same thing, but at the end. Crossover options. Crossover heroes retain all of this stuff. You can, I believe, um, you can make their creatures crossover too. Spells, then artifacts. 
you can make it so one specific artifact crosses over, or so all of them do, I believe. Um, starting options are starting bonus options, starting hero crossover. Player position one red. Now you can add and select bonus type. Um, creature most powerful hero. Okay, and then spell scroll. There. So those would be the two options that they can choose before they begin. Um, to be honest, well, this is I know this. This is what it's gonna show when you right click on like that. Now, to be honest though, I don't know how to re work the prerequisites. It might be um. I think oh I see that's on that's that's for a specific map I see you need a um I think I think I know what I'm doing prerequisites import just another file here honestly I don't know what the prerequisites does oh uh, there no no just as I thought of course I'd want to say that, but um, prerequisites is just the maps you need to beat before you can go on. Since I didn't have any maps for it, it wouldn't show. And so that's it, and I'll just say this as weird... Weird one. Because that's a pretty, pretty strange campaign I have there. And yeah, that's basically how to use the campaign editor. There's not much to it since it's, um... Yeah, it's basically just campaigns when you have your maps created, and yep, that's all, so...